Yo, this the motherfucking time the motherfucking homie snitched on me and shit, yo. Now, I'm on the run for pro probation violation and shit, right? My second bid, I'm, this is leading up to my second bid and shit. But I'm on the run. I'm, I done violated probation and shit. So I'm on the run and being captured. I can't get a law by ID, know where I go. I, it, it was just a messed up feeling and shit, being on the run and shit. So. I always had my driver license and shit, right? So, people used to come get me like, yo, drive, man. Just drive and ride, ride around and shit like that. This particular day, time and shit. Even if I had driver license and shit, I couldn't give no goddamn license to no uh, authorities if we got pulled over because I got an outstanding felony warrant. So, this particular day, the homie picked me up and shit, which is somewhat of an op there, and I ain't ready to say I got ops out here, but some people is like, yo, as time goes by and shit, right, certain shit grow on you to be like, yo, leave that shit alone, but at the end of the day, man, I was, I was slap his mustache off his goddamn face, and, like, honestly, just thinking back at some shit, but, like, yo, so, he reached out to me like, yo, man, we ready to go to the strip club in Durham and shit, right? <clears throat> so, he gets his girl called and shit, right? He's still staying with his mother, so of course when I say he gets his girl called, his girl stays somewhere else. She probably stay with her parents or whatever, but while she at work, he used to get her car and we, we ride around or whatever the case may be, make sales or something, or go trick some bitches or something. So this particular weekend and shit, right? We go scoop his little cousin up. His cousin about seventeen or so. So we on he was either seventeen or eighteen. It's one or the other. Alright, we get some we get we get together, we pick some up, and we go get us some good green and shit now. We rolling up and shit. We on Interstate 85, eight in the Durham and shit. <laughs> Gets to Durham and shit, right? <clears throat> now, can't find the strip club and shit. So, we going down the strip. I now forget this um, avenue. It's called North Austin Avenue. You get what I'm saying? I now forget it. We going, I don't know, we going northbound or southbound. But, we heading in a direction towards a store or where it's traffic. So as we going, you see motherfucking like a roadblock. You can tell there's a roadblock. You see a whole lot of line of cars stop. <coughs> and you um see law enforcement outside as well and shit. So the smartest thing to do, you come down the street, you see that. You see a street turn, you turn the signal light on. You duck off and go down the street. So as I'm I ducked off, I'm driving down the street, right? He on the passenger side, his cousin in the back seat. He's 17 at the, at the time. So I see an officer. I'm like, damn, I'm trying to play this shit off now. So goddamn, I rolled the window down. I was like, yo, man, we trying to find the uh the name of the you know, I can't think of the name of this motherfucking strip club, but I was telling the officer, like, yo, we just we from Henderson. Law's trying to find the strip club and shit. Um, you think you can direct us to it? Motherfucker told us, yeah, go up that way and those officers will assist you. So he make he basically telling us to go back towards the roadblock that I avoided going to. So there's no there's no turn around now. You have to go that way now. So we're going down the road and shit up to North Avenue, Austin Avenue. North Austin Avenue. So motherfucker. As we pulling up now, we behind car, roll cars and shit. So if you got anything on you or in the car, you got enough time and you so many cars behind it, you can sling that shit out the window. You know what I'm saying? So you will see motherfuckers parking their cars, getting out of their cars, walking. <laughs> Excuse me, because you know those are the ones that's dirty. They dirty, got a gun, drugs, or whatever. So they get out their cars, walking mid roadblock. Get what I'm saying? So, 
pulls up to the roadblock. Not me thing. I got a goddamn blue sweater on. Got weed residue on it, like weed buzz and shit on the sweater and shit. Rolled the window down. The, the officer was like, "Yo, uh, driver license and such and such and such." I was like, "Look, man, I um, my name is such and such. I gave him my brother's name. My license, I'd have forgot. My license just in the Russian shit. You get what I'm saying? But my name is such and such. My date of birth is such and such, right? So they motherfucking see the weed on my shirt." And they were like, um, got any drugs on you? And I was like, look, sir, prior to us coming up here, I smoked, <clears throat> I smoked a blunt 30 minutes prior to us coming up here. I was like, they don't got nothing to do with it. I was smoking and they don't have shit on it. So they got me out of the car, put me in handcuffs. So, <clears throat> motherfucking. Now, the dude on the passenger side, now, they questioning him, like, what's your name, date of birth, and, you know, do you got anything on him? He even gave them his real name and all of that, but the motherfucker, remember I told y'all, the line was so long with the roadblock, you see people getting out of their cars, walking, people throwing shit out of their cars. So, when we comes up on the roadblock, I'm thinking he done got rid of the damn weed that we that we were smoking on and shit, right? So he said, No, I ain't got nothing on me when they asked him. So they, they tell him to get out the car. Soon he get out the car, they find weed in the goddamn pocket of the uh, passenger, passenger door. So they put him in handcuffs. Questioning his cousin in the back seat, which is a minor or whatever, because he won't 18. So he gives them his ID and shit. So they look at the ID, everything checks out. He ain't got shit on. So they on some shit like, okay, um. Now they giving dude hell because they were like, why you lie about such and such and such? You know, um, this guy, this gentleman right here, sir, they talking about me, sir. This gentleman right here was under. He was like, yo, he smoked. He was smoking in the car. He was like, y'all ain't have shit to do with it, which I believe he to be lying about that, but he, he fessed up was like he was the one smoking. So but we don't want to believe him because <coughs> what's the best thing to tell the officer that they were smoking in the car if they wasn't? You get what I'm saying? So my story believable. But the thing is in Durham, if you ain't got no ID or identification on you, they supposed to take you to um the magistrate office or, you know, take you downtown and fingerprint you just to identify you. So so you won't be one of them ones who got a warrant or something out here. So long story short, they kept asking me like, um, so where was y'all here? So I'm like, man, we was going to the strip club and just got lost. So the main reason for the roadblock was because some dude got shot in the head up there and shit. So they doing roadblock trying to search cars and shit. So that's how we got caught up in the mix. You get what I'm saying? So I told this story before, so now they got him arrested because of weed, and he was lying and shit, right? So, they seen, remember I told y'all, I was under to just talk to him, and they kept asking me the same story to see do I slip up and add something or take away from it, and then they'll catch me in the lie, but I kept saying the same shit, like, yo, my name is such and such, date of birth, such and such, give me, give me that my brother. How about they takes me out of handcuffs and was like, yo, we're just going to give you a citation for something. I forgot what the fuck it was. So I'm like, word. I'm saying to myself, word. Man, I'm on the run. I got an outstanding felony warrant and shit. So I just made it away from that shit. I don't know how I made it out of there. So, all right. Here come the snitching. So they got my homeboy. All right. They got his cousin and shit, right? On the side of the road, but he good, he checks out. Now they takes me out of handcuffs and shit, so I'm ready to go on the side and be straight. You get what I'm saying? Because we know a tow truck ready to come tow the goddamn wheel on this shit. Long story short, I see him in the police car and shit, right? You know they got their laptop or something that motherfucker. And I see, wonder why I keep seeing the motherfucker like on the screen and shit, like, like he reading something. And I see my homeboy talking to him and shit. 
that officer jumped clean back out of his goddamn um, cop car and shit. Came and replaced me back um, arrest, under arrest and shit. It was like, look, we placed you back under arrest. Like, um, your homeboy saying your name is such and such. I typed it in and motherfucking it says this person has a felony outstanding um, warrant shit. So I was like, I don't know what the fuck he talking about. Officer, I was like, yo, he lying. Y'all already caught him in lies. I've been telling the truth, been honest the whole go around. Ain't nothing lying about me. I don't know who the fuck such and such is. So just say like they was like, they pulled, they typed up and it came up, sir, early, such and such and such. I'm like, yo, I don't know who the fuck, sir, early is. My name is such and such, date of birth, such and such and such. You get what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, he's scared that he's going to um, Durham County Jail and shit. You get what I'm saying? So evidently he want me to goddamn be locked up with him or something. Because I don't know why he would lie and say my name is such and such. Like I said, I still don't know how I made it out of this shit because I'm thinking when they type your name in on that little laptop shit in the cup court, I'm thinking your picture or something come up there as well. This won't the case or something. So he was like, well, he put me back in hand because I'm talking to him. He talking to me and shit. He was like, all right, I'm going to be right back. So he done went back talking to all another officer or something. So now he comes back to me and was like, look, You've been straight up with up um honest with us ever since you um said that you was smoking you was the one smoking the weed in the car and stuff. So look, man, like that citation we told you that uh we're gonna write you, yeah, we're gonna just write you, you just keep that citation. We wanna place you, we wanna take these handcuffs off you and you can go with his cousin and y'all just get a ride home or something. I was like, What? You get what I'm saying? So I look, look, goddamn, he looking back at the cop car and shit in the back seat, looking back and shit. They driving off and shit. I was like, I ain't mad because you know that's a, a situation like, yo, you done just made it out of this situation. You know what I'm saying? So it won't go no man at it, boo, I, it won't none of that shit. I was just in shock. Like your homeboy that you ride around with, smoke blunts with, go trick on home bitches, go run trains on bitches and shit like that. This motherfucker got there been ratted to get you locked up with him. You get what I'm saying? So now he he they driving him off to jail and shit. So now it's just me and his cousin and shit. So they done told the car and shit, so which is his girl car. Remember I told y'all we, we got got his girl car to drive up there to the strip club. So me and his little cousin walking and shit. Comes up on the store, just standing out there in the parking lot, don't know where to go, and probably just trying to find somebody with a phone for to call his mother and call his girl, and let them know like yo, he he got locked up, <clears throat> and they told her to call and shit. So lo lo and behold, like we chilling in the store, dude pull up in the store. I was like yo, I know this motherfucker and shit. Now. An hour away, this is where he been staying at for years, old, 20 plus years and shit. So I recognized his face. I was like, yo, you such and such. He was like, yeah, I was like, man, I'm such and such from such and such. Man, we got a real clinic and shit. So he was like, man, what y'all doing up here? I was like, man, look, I explained the story to him and shit. And he was like, yo, y'all got to get from right here. Y'all got blood transfer, such and such and such. This was way before I was thinking about back and shit. This was in 08. Matter of fact, so I was 27 years old. So, motherfucking, uh, we got in the car with him. <clears throat> we was like, man, we need to use the phone to let his mom and girl know, like, he locked up and we stranded up here and shit. So, we used his phone and shit. And we got in touch with his mother and got in touch with his girl. Now, we supposed to be meeting up at, um, Wherever that mall, what's the name of that? Northgate Mall or some shit, if I ain't mistaken. It had a Boston Market restaurant or something hooked up to it. So we ride and he, me, me and the dude that picked us up, we get in the clinic just chilling, talking and shit. And motherfucking, uh, we went to Boston Market uh, parking lot and waited 
<coughs> the girl of mother would come. That's an island common shit. So we dap dude up and fucking said our piece or whatever. So gets in the vehicle with her. And now the mother brings the girl too. The girl called we was on. So I couldn't tell her that we was goddamn going to a strip club or whatever. But I told her, like, yo, we was just up there just riding or whatever. I forgot what I made up, but of course I won't tell them the strip clubs. So now I done just lied to these goddamn cops and shit, like the chief of police and everybody. And they done let me they done they done arrested me, let me back out of handcuffs and then rearrested me and then let me back out. So these motherfuckers want to go to the manager's office for the checkup on him and shit. Man, I was pissed off because I was like, yo, I done just made it out of this situation. I'm not trying to go to no goddamn Durham County jail to check up on him. And especially he done just got down. I ain't tell them that he tried to lie and put me in jail with him and shit. So long story short, we getting him going to the goddamn manager's office. The whole time I'm in the back of the bed shook. Just knowing the police was going to walk outside with them back to the car and come get me or something. You get what I'm saying? But, yeah, that was a fucked up ass goddamn feeling and shit. So, they came back to the car, let alone, this was Friday. Now, you don't see the magistrate, magistrate until Monday or some shit. So, he had to sit in that bitch all the way to Monday before he could make bond or some shit. So, the motherfucker gets out and try to tell people that I snitched on him. So to this day, I be seeing certain people and be having to reiterate that story to them and tell them what the deal is. And most of the people that know him know he like a scary type dude and shit like that. So that shit was crazy. Like the motherfucker goes and tell motherfuckers like I snitched. You get what I'm saying? That shit was crazy, dog. I'm talking about, like, your everyday buddy. Like, somebody you know from know from school or whatever. Y'all might have not hung in the hood together or whatever, but y'all get up in age or whatever, see one another, y'all get real clean and start chilling and get back into, you know, get into the street life and shit. Fucking on bitches or whatever the case may be. So this was just a motherfucker I knew from school, and he knew me, I knew him from school and everybody know my brother and different people that I get around with. So it was like one of those type of deals and shit. It's like little Boosie hanging with little Webby every day. They get pulled over a gun in the car. The police got Webby outside asking him who good it is and shit. And then little Boosie over here on the sidewalk, they done search him, he ain't got shit on him. And all of a sudden the police come to him and put him in handcuffs and be like, yo, that's your one of your homies said that was your good and said that. So it was just like one of those situations and shit. So I'm talking about like I done told this story before. You get what I'm saying? But I just like wanted to bring this shit back up. Because <clears throat> I recently did a piece on Big Whack One Hundred speaking on Big Meach again, rat again and shit. So I was like that shit circulating again about people ratting and snitching and shit. So I was like, yo, let me make a video about that goddamn shit again. Because I'm getting new subscribers. And if you like me and shit, you ain't um, subscribe to somebody's channel, right? You ain't going to go all the way down to their day one video. You get what I'm saying? Unless a title or a motherfucking thumbnail catches your eye. You get what I'm saying? But. You are not going all the way down somebody's shit on YouTube. So I don't expect nobody for to do that shit to me. So then I got to remake the video. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That I did five or six months ago. And retell it in a different motherfucking way. But yeah, dude, hey, baby Troy, man. Troy Daniels. I ain't fucked about that. You get what I'm saying? But that's his name, baby Troy. Troy Daniels, man. That motherfucker, like. And then if the, the crazy thing about that shit is that if they would have got me during that time, it would have been um, a relief to me because I was just running for so many years and shit. 
looking over my shoulder with shit. They raid this house. I jump out the window and get away. And she's like, that shit is time. You get what I'm saying? So when you doing that time and shit, the jail, you look back, you be on some shit like, man, I wish like hell they would have been caught me because I would have got this behind me a long time ago. Now I'm faced with this shit now. You get what I'm saying? So I was on a run for probation violation. It's the only reason why I lied to them and told them, like, yo, I gave them my brother name and shit. You get what I'm saying? I had license, but never had them on me because, man, I'm going to give you my driver's license for you run my name and Hey, he got a felony warrant. You get what I'm saying? So, and the felony warrant was for possession with intent to sell, manufacture, and deliver um, marijuana and shit. So, that's why I eventually went to prison. So that was in 2008. They caught me in 2009. And that's when I went and did my time. And got out in 2010 and shit. Um, this story is about when my homie that snitched on me. So I can be in the goddamn county jail with his scary punk bitch ass. Old dirt road bumpy ass face looking and shit. But it's been, a, it's been real. <laughs>